Greetings and welcome to the first episode of my Math Olympiad lecture series. This series aims at covering a variety of topics aimed at training students for math competitions. One key feature of such math problems is that calculators are not allowed during the solving process. That's it, let's begin this series on the topic of trailing zeros. The objective of this lesson will be for students to be able to count the number of trailing zeros for large numbers. So let's begin with a definition and some examples of trailing zeros. Trailing zeros refer to a sequence of zeros in a number such that no other digits follow behind the last zero. In the first example, the number 4200, you can see that the number ends with two zeros. We can say that there are two trailing zeros. In the second example, the number 109,000 ends with three zeros. The zero between the one and the nine is not counted because the number nine follows behind that zero. Hence, we can say that this number has three trailing zeros. Let's look at the number 500 million and 200,000. How many trailing zeros are there? Let's pause and count the number of trailing zeros. Five trailing zeros is correct. The two extra zeros between 5 and 2 are not counted. So let's look at our first math problem. Find the number of trailing zeros for 2017 factorial. This exclamation mark refers to the factorial function. It basically means 2017 multiplied by 2016 multiplied by 2015 and so on until you multiply by 3, by 2 and finally by 1. This is a huge number and even with a normal scientific calculator, your calculator is very likely to give up on you. With a computer, you could calculate it, but it's very unlikely any student is going to be able to brute force this answer. The actual number comes up to 5,792 digits. And there's this huge chunk of trailing zeros attached to it that I've highlighted in red. So the question is, how many of them are there? I'm going to ask you to pause this video here to think through the problem before you view the solution. So one strategy that we can employ to solve this problem is to first look at an easier case of this problem. Let's look at 10 factorial. 10 multiplied by 9 by 8 all the way to 1. We know from basic math that if you multiply anything by 10, you would get a trailing zero. So 10 factorial would have at least a trailing zero. But is that it? If we look closer, 2 multiplied by 5 would also give us 10. So 10 factorial would actually have two trailing zeros. The problem is then reduced to how many factors of 2s and of 5s are there in 2017 factorial. To further simplify the problem, we can ignore the factors of 2s because they occur just far more commonly than the 5s. We will just look at the factors of 5s. So let's carry out the plan. Since there is a multiple of 5 for every 5 numbers, we can just divide 2017 by 5 and round it down. This symbol that I'm using, just in case you are not familiar with it, is the floor function, which basically means to round the number down to the nearest integer. 2017 divided by 5 gives us 403.4, and rounded down, this gives us 403, all quite doable without a calculator. So, the answer is 403 trailing zeros? Oops, 403 would be wrong. It turns out 
that for every 5 multiples of 5, there is a multiple of 25. And 25 is 5 squared, so it has 2 factors of 5s in it. This gives rise to 2 trailing zeros when multiplied by 4. So if we divide 403 by 5 and round that down, that tells us there are 80 multiples of 25 which contribute an extra zero. But are we done? 125 or 5 cubed will generate 3 trailing zeros when multiplied by 8. 625 or 5 to the power of 4 will generate 4 trailing zeros when multiplied by 16. And if you're watching this video after the year 3125, there is a chance you might consider 5 to the power of 5, 3125. So let's look at the final answer. In total, the multiples of 5 produce 403 trailing zeros. The multiples of 25 produce an additional 80 zeros. And the multiples of 125 produce an extra 16 more zeros. And finally, the multiples of 625 add 3 more trailing zeros on top of all that. That gives us a total of 502 trailing zeros. So there we have it. 2017 factorial has 502 trailing zeros. Here are some problems to extend your learning. Problem 1. Find the number of trailing zeros for 20 to the power of 5 multiplied by 50 to the power of 25 multiplied by 75 to the power of 30. Problem 2. Find the number of trailing zeros for 2017 factorial in its binary representation. This concludes our first ever Math Olympiad lecture. Please leave your comments below and hit the subscribe button if you would like to learn more about mathematical problem solving strategies. Thank you for your kind attention and have a good day of learning.